good morning children today we are doing uh, some special type of integrals exercise 2.10 the problems will have three things to check integral the limits are from 0 to infinity first one second x power a whole number that n value should be more than 1 for which I can find n factorial. Number 3, e power negative number into x. So, 3 conditions. Limits are from 0 to infinity. x power a whole number for which I can find factorial. e power negative x. If so, by integration, by parts method, we have applied and let us remember the formula directly. The formula is n factorial by a power n plus 1. n is power of x. a is the coefficient with minus x. So let us apply in two problems of the exercise. Question number 2. f of x is given like this way. What is the meaning? x Greater than 0 means the function has some value defined. Otherwise, it is 0. My question is find 0 to infinity. So, 0 to infinity means above 0. Above 0 means I will substitute this. So, f of x is nothing but x square e power minus 2x dx. Can I check with this formula? First condition, limits from 0 to infinity. It is correct. x power a whole number more than 1. That is also correct. So, n is equal to 2. a is the negative x, the number. So, e power negative x is correct. a is this number 2. So, a, a I compare that is also 2. So, I know n is 2 and a is 2. Apply in this formula n factorial. That is 2 factorial by a power n plus 1. a is 2 power n plus 1. What do you mean by 2 factorial? 1 into 2. So, 1 into 2 is 2. 2 power 3 means 2 into 2 into 2. Multiply and write. You can cancel and that is the answer. Question number 1, fifth subsection. We are given a problem like this. Let us check whether I can apply this formula. How many conditions? 3. Number 1, limits from 0 to infinity. It's correct. Number 2, x power whole number. x power 5. So n equals 5. Number 3, e power negative should come. And whatever number is with the x, I will take a. So, minus minus x goes means a value will be the coefficient of this x. That is 1 by 2. Apply in the formula n factorial. 5 factorial. a power n plus 1. a is half power n plus 1. So, 1 by 2 power 6 reciprocate. It is 2 power 6 into 5 factorial. Either leave the answer like this or you can simplify and find out the answer. Question number 1, subsection 3. We are using the same formula 0 to infinity. Here also 0 to infinity. x power n, x power 6. So here n is equal to 6. e power negative Ax here mx. So a equals m. Applying the formula, call this as i. i is equal to n factorial, 6 factorial by a power n plus 1. Instead of a, m power n plus 1 means 6 plus 1. Or I shall write 6 factorial by m power 7. Either you can leave the answer like this. Or find 6 factorial and write the answer. Fourth question. Integral 0 to infinity. e power minus 4x. x power 4 dx. Compare 
condition number 1 integral from 0 to infinity condition number 2 x power n x power 4 so in this problem n is equal to 4 e power negative e power negative ax is 4x means a equals 4 so i can very well apply the formula call this as i i equals n factorial 4 factorial by a power n plus 1 4 power n plus 1 simplify the answer 4 factorial by 4 power 5 that is 4 factorial you can write 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 4 power 5 5 times simplify the answer it is 3 by 128 you can leave the answer like this or you can simplify and write like this. Suppose this n value I write power n minus 1. And a value is 1. So 1 into x is simply x. If I have this model, I call this as gamma n. So this symbol we call the capital letter gamma, gamma n. So this is a gamma n integral. We have some properties of gamma n. Gamma n is given means I can write what is the previous number for n? It is n minus 1 gamma n minus 1. And suppose I have gamma n plus 1. What is previous number for n plus 1? n. Previous number for n plus 1 is n. n gamma n. Now suppose gamma 4, gamma 10, gamma 7 by 2 like this are given. I can keep on using this formula. When I keep on using finally I will reduce to either gamma 1 or gamma half. Gamma 1 is 1 only and gamma half is root pi. So let us remember the formula. The integral with a is rewritten as with a instead of a I am writing 1. Such integral I call gamma integral and I use this symbol. By using this I can easily reduce the problem. Let us see one example from the exercise. Question number 1 subsection 1. It is find gamma 4. Now what is the formula we said? Previous number. So 4 previous number 3 gamma 3. That is 3 into for gamma 3. What is the previous number? 2. 2 gamma 2. For gamma 2 what is the previous number? 2 previous number 1. So I will write 1 gamma 1. What is gamma 1 value? We already learnt it is 1. So multiply it all. 3 into 2 into 1 into 1. So my answer is 6. See, instead of even applying this formula, my answer would be very simple by just writing the previous number and gamma of that. So gamma 4 means 4 previous number 3. 3 gamma 3. Gamma 3 means previous number 2 gamma 2. Gamma 2 means previous number 1 gamma 1. Gamma 1 is 1. Multiply and write the answer. Let us do one problem with fraction. Say gamma 9 by 2. How to write the answer? Same pattern. I want previous number for 9 by 2. What is the previous number for 9 by 2? It is 9 by 2 minus 1 or 9 minus 2, 7 by 2. What would be previous number for 7 by 2? 7 by 2 minus 1. 7 minus 2, 5 by 2. Previous number for 5 by 2? 5 by 2 minus 1. That is 5 minus 2, 3 by 2. 3 by 2 previous number? 3 minus 2, that is 1 by 2. So we are going to apply all this here. So for 9 by 2, the previous number would be 7 by 2. 
So applying this formula, it is 7 by 2 gamma 7 by 2. What is previous number for 7 by 2? 5 by 2 gamma 5 by 2. Previous number for 5 by 2? It is 3 by 2 gamma 3 by 2. Previous number for 3 by 2? It is 1 by 2. 1 by 2 gamma 1 by 2. And what is gamma 1 by 2 value? It is root pi. So I can multiply it on. 3 5s are 15 into 7. 1 not 5 divided by 2 2s are 4 2s are 8 2s are 16. Gamma half will be root pi. So that is the answer. So we must know to write gamma for a whole number. Also for a fraction. So 4 means Previous number and gamma of that. Same idea. 9 by 2 means previous number means 9 by 2 minus 1. What is 9 by 2 minus 1? 7 by 2. Similarly, 7 by 2 previous number 7 by 2 minus 1. That is 5 by 2. 5 by 2 previous number 3 by 2. 3 by 2 previous number 1 by 2. Finally, when I come up to gamma half, it is root pi. So just multiply and write the answer.